Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss King's World, and today I'm going to be talking about fast money. But hold up, let me count my coin. It just keeps going and going, and it's just endless, isn't it? Wake up. Fast money isn't as fast and easy as you think. And it's just as fraudulent as social media. So today I'm going to be telling you the reasons why you should and shouldn't get into a fast money job. So if you're interested, keep watching. They don't tell you a lot of things. Instead, they want you to think that everyone has it. They have the best and latest material items. They're living the best life that they can possibly live. We know social media is a lie, so why are you buying into this nonsense? Fast Money has a lot of advantages and also disadvantages as well. Yes, the money could be great. Yes, the freedom could be great. Is it really worth it? Is that something that you really want to do? The fact that you guys don't have all the information makes it really hard to make an informative and smart decision about it. And I'm seeing way too many young people online, throughout social media, talking about they cannot wait until they turn 18 so they can start an OnlyFans and go to the strip club. There are so many other options before you want to decide to do that and I'm not here to shame anyone about what they do. I think what you do with your body or your time or yourself as long as you're not harming anyone and you're not harming yourself I think you are in the right and free to do that but when you're only given half the information you can only make half the decision so I'm just going to talk about some things and my thoughts on things and then yeah, who knows what you will feel like after this video. So let's first talk about what type of fast money jobs I'm talking about. I am speaking about the, the street chemists, the exotic dancers, the OnlyFans, the escorts, the sugar babies, the scammers. It even goes down to certain restaurants and also bottle girls, models, that type of realm where you're making a lot of money very quickly and in a short period of time or you have the potential to make money because let's not get it twisted there's a lot of people that don't make money it's a job like any other job and you have to put in work so it doesn't matter if it's called fast money or easy money it's not that easy there's still a lot that goes into it however people just choose to just Oh yeah, I went to work and I made a thousand dollars. They didn't tell you how many shots they took, how belligerently drunk they were at the end of the shift, how much harassment they took during that shift. They're not really telling you any of that stuff. They're literally just breezing on by that to make it seem like they're not having a tough time or they don't face any difficulties in their job. But like I said before, a job is a job. So you're gonna have advantages and you're gonna have good times I guess as much as you're gonna have bad times and most times the good times are really just associated with money and that's just facts obviously in these jobs you do have the potential to earn a lot of money if you think about it no other jobs except for jobs like that can you earn a thousand two thousand three thousand ten thousand dollars a day unless you are a ceo running your own business or whatever the case may be no regular job nine to five you check in go to the office you check in go to a restaurant not all restaurants but you know a re like basic jobs like that you're not making that kind of money so yeah the money in that sense is great you're making a lot of money but again you do have to put in work don't let them fool you and think that just because it seems easy it's not easy like you have to deal with a lot of stuff and on top of it too the money is very inconsistent one day you could be making a lot of money the next day you might be making no money so if you're not budgeting correctly then it's going to be hell for you. At least when you go to a regular nine to five job, you know you make $100 a day, you work five days a week, you make $500, it's easy to budget. When you're working a job like that, where one day you might be making a lot of money and the next day you're not, it's really hard to budget because you don't really know your income flow and it just gets kind of messy and difficult. Along with that, your lifestyle changes. You're no longer wanting to buy the cheapest things because 
if you can afford nice things, why am I still munching on ramen noodles when I can afford five star steaks? So now you're going to increase your lifestyle. You're no longer going to be doing the same things you were doing when you were quote unquote poor. Now that you're rich, you're gonna be doing rich people things. You're gonna be shopping, you wanna move out, you gotta pay rent, you're gonna pay a car bill, all those things. And depending on who you're around, you might want to sway your lifestyle to also fit in with your peers. If everyone else is driving a 2021 BMW and Bentley, you're not gonna wanna pull up in your 1998 Toyota. You probably won't. You're gonna wanna upgrade your lifestyle so you can live like the rest of the folk. So now you're paying $900 a month for your car payments instead of no money because your car was paid off before. So that's something to keep into consideration. Also, upkeep. These kind of jobs require you to upkeep a little bit, whether it's your hair, your nails, your appearance, um, transportation costs, sometimes you have to travel, new clothes, sometimes equipment, sometimes obviously you don't want to sleep where you work or whatever the case may be. So it's like there's a whole range of other things that people don't really consider. You just consider the here and the now and the money. Another thing to consider is the safety of it. Obviously safety really ranges depending on what kind of job you're doing. I listed an array of different jobs but some places it's not safe. Meeting up with people isn't safe. Where you're meeting people to give people things is not safe and can you call the cops if something happens? Who can you talk to if something happens? Are you going to want to confide in your friends and your family? Possibly not, depending on the job and what your family or friends think of it. So you have to think about all these things when you're going into it because how are you going to explain if you got mugged and you have two, three thousand dollars on, on you? Are you going to call the cops? How are you going to explain to the cops where you got that money from? And how can you prove it? That's another thing. So think about safety and also people are sketchy. You're meeting up with sketchy people. There's been so many shootings targeting drug dealers all the time, sex workers all the time now. So you gotta think about all these things as well when you're going into this kind of environment. The next thing is freedom is great in a sense because you're making more money so you're financially more free. But at the same time, are you really free? Because a lot of these jobs do require you to be there in the nighttime, in the weekends. So you're gonna have to pick between your social life and that as well. And also, what is freedom? Because if you have money, but you have to do things that you're not necessarily okay with, are you really free? Because then it just seems like you're kind of a slave to money. And money, I think, is the worst addiction to have. Being addicted to substances is bad, but being addicted to money kind of skews your thinking and your judgment and you might go in thinking one thing and now there's more money on the table so now you're skewed towards that and it's just it creates a conflict and a moral conflict. You have to remember that the decisions that you make you're gonna have to live with and sometimes they can be difficult so you definitely have to think about that. Another thing to think about that people don't really talk about is the environment. What kind of environment are you in? Who are you around? Who are you bumping shoulders with? Sure, you might come in contact with the CEO, the doctors, the people that want to be doctors because there is a big misconception that everyone that goes into that type of line of work is all just mentally unstable and they all come from terrible backgrounds and abuse and drugs and all these other things and that's not entirely true a lot of people do just want to make ends meet and they have family support and they have debt and school debt really turns people like you know like school debt is crazy there's a lot of different people that you're going to meet but you also have to realize more than not the quality of people is going to be a little bit skewed to an extent. Not all the time, but to an extent. And 
most times they'll probably be skewed. They're gonna be people that might not be from the best backgrounds. They're going to be people that might have these weird thoughts and fetishes. There might be people that are serious, serious addicts. It literally ranges. So you definitely have to think about who you're around, and remember, even if you're not technically engaging with everyone like that, you're still taking things in to an extent. And these are people that you're going to be around all the time. Unless you're a lone ranger, then again, like the safety aspect of that, do you really want to be by yourself? So it really ranges on whatever you're doing. But think about with the environment, there's a lot of times substance abuse and... Even the strongest of people get weak at times. I worked as a waitress in a strip club and the girls that worked there, super cool girls, they were super friendly. And to be honest, most of them didn't really seem like they were from like really bad backgrounds per se, but you get lost in the sauce. That's it, you just get lost. Like it's hard not to. You're constantly listening to music, you're vibing, you're drinking alcohol, you're talking with people, you're dancing. You're not really doing anything that's like so, so, so crazy. And you're making money while doing it. Like, But at the same time, you're drinking five days a week. You're constantly being harassed by men, groped by men. It's like, even if you tell them no, they're not really listening and they're just doing the most all the time. So it's like, and it's not just you, even if you're saying, okay, cool, like I'm taking the night off, I'm not drinking. People are peer pressuring you into drinking. So it really just ranges. And so you really gotta consider what type of environment you're in because even the strongest of people get lost in the sauce. And once you are lost, sometimes there is no coming back from that. So you definitely just gotta be wary about that. And same thing with the drugs. We all know drugs have an addictive side to it as well as alcohol, but drugs do have an addictive side. At least alcohol, the next day you're like dying if you're hungover. With drugs, you don't really get that. So, you know, you don't want to get lost in that because drugs are addictive. And if you have an addictive personality and you're addicted to money and you're addicted to work because you're making money and everything's just so exciting, it's very easy to get caught up and lost in that and that's not something you want to do especially if you had a goal and you had a budget and drugs are expensive and that's another thing they're expensive so like you're making all your money to buy drugs it just doesn't really it, the maths ain't mathing you know finally to wrap this video up let's talk about the trauma let's talk about the aftermath of what happens after you if you are lucky enough to exit something like that because again be working as a waitress at a strip club i seen so many people that are like 40 pushing 50 and they're still there doing their thing they're out there doing their thing and i'm just confused because you're saying you've done this for 20 years so it's like shouldn't you be done by now but for them it's a mixture of just like one, you've been doing it so long, so now it's like, what else do I do? And then two, they're obviously having fun. Well, some of them say they're having fun, and it's just, you're just so used to it. So it's like, it's difficult, and the money's still good. So it's like, you know, it just becomes, it's a slippery slope. And like I said, being addicted to money is one of the worst addictions ever. Yes, you need money, you need money to be comfortable, but... Money is not everything. And lastly, the aftermath. What happens when you leave? One, working a normal job is going to be hell because how am I gonna make a thousand dollars a day and now I'm making a hundred? It just, it's absurd. So if you're not smart and budget correctly, you have to go back to a regular job in which how do you do that? It's gonna be very difficult. Two, you also have to think about your money in general. Like, if you're doing a job where you can't really claim your money, how are you going to move? How are you going to buy a house? How are you going to buy a car? How are you going to build your credit? How are you going to explain where all this money came from? You got to figure that out. 
Another thing is the trauma and all the things that you've dealt with because I'm sure going into a job like that you are seeing and hearing and feeling and all these different things and so how do you go back to being normal after that? It's almost impossible to be normal when you've lived such an unnormal fast life like now to kind of slow down it's it's difficult to assimilate back into real life. It's like literally like you're in a video game and now you have to like come out and just adjust to real life it's like how do you even do that it's a slippery slope job and i just hate that people constantly just only say the positives and yeah okay cool i do like that society is moving away from that like you have to be this person you have to do this you have to fit in this box you're bad you're good we've kind of blurred the lines a little bit especially only fans you, you see celebrities on only fans you see everyone doing it here Beyonce talking about only fans in a song which I find a little sus because I think it's really off-brand for her but that's a whole other topic so the lines have been blurred a little bit which I don't necessarily disagree with but at the same time the fact that not that much information is given and it's almost glorified in a sense that's what i have a problem with because i don't think people really understand everything when they're making these decisions and especially when you're young and you're impressionable and you're broke it's really easy to get caught up in the hype because you're only thinking about the money but you also have to think about long term because not just all those other things but just society in general how are you going to be viewed by your friends and your family are things going to stay with you are things on record are things on the internet and the internet lasts forever you have to think about all these other things and not just in the moment and i think that's something that we definitely just need to really 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 caution the youth about and just take your time when making these decisions like i said i am not here to shame anyone i think you could do whatever you want with your body however you just need to think about things a little bit more carefully because sometimes some things are irreversible and you don't want to get stuck with that for the rest of your life so yeah that is pretty much my little spiel on fast money and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this topic i know i am so random i go from hair to makeup to mental health and now i'm talking about fast money but that is just me i am just random as hell so yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe follow my social media links and i will see you for another video bye guys